Hello and welcome, I am Neil Rear and this is Prison Architect. So this is Alpha 27. Now I haven't done this for a couple of Alphas and uh, the, the reason is is that I kind of got bored with it. I mean like once you sort of kind of know it and you've, you've played it sort of like quite a long time and everything like that, it kind of gets boring. So I've left it for a couple of Alphas and I watched the, uh, the Alpha 27 video and uh, it looked like not an entirely new game, but there's so much more in depth now. I just thought, you know, sod it. I'll give it another try. So um, I've tried, I've tried to have a go by myself, and so I think I'm okay with it. I mean, obviously there's some stuff that I'm not going to realise, but um, it should be fun. It should be fun, and uh, I think we should just keep going. So I am going to need to create a new prison. It's going to be fantastic. Let's um, let's stick with medium. So my plan is for now is to build a small prison. For the minute and then sell that and then make a new prison and uh, the reason for this if I just go into here is that for now I won't have to plan anything because I know that I'm not gonna have to sort of like try and squeeze as much into a s small space as possible you know it's just a nice easy relaxing well I say relaxing it's never relaxing with me Alright, okay, so let's get rid of them, and we'll do a little bit of planning, just to get... Oh, actually, I'll get my grant up first, so I know what I'm doing. Yes, I would like basic detention. And administration. Yes, fantastic. Okay, so holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen. Okay, well, that's not bad. Um, let's start at the bottom. I've never done this, actually. I've so I'm looking through my videos and I was like, I've, I'll tell you what, I've never actually moved the delivery and the garbage, like, from the middle. It's not even the middle. I mean, how bad is that? It's, it's like, there. It's, it's not the middle. But anyway, let's carry on. So, we'll get some deliveries going. And we'll do, uh... Mm, yeah, that's about right. Okay, and then we also need... the garbage. And we'll just do... Two lines for that, and two lines for the export. Because that's really all you're going to need. I mean, I, I doubt you're going to need much more than that. But um, we'll give it a go. So, I would like to make that odd, at least. Oh, there we go. Alrighty then. So, what do we need first? Well, first we are going to need a canteen, I think. Because it is going to be near the deliveries. Um, so I'll stick this as a storage room, make it, um, I'll make it slightly smaller, just because we're not going to need that much storage for the minute. Should be good. Right, so canteen, I don't need to make that big, uh, sorry, kitchen, I don't need to make that big at all. So this here will have... And if I put that down there, well, actually, I'll make it one bigger look, just so I can get the, that's going to be the sink there. I could put it down here, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this with you is because it's not going to take that long. Because normally I'd go off camera and then go, ta-da, here's my prison. But, um, no, it's fine. I mean, I'm not going to take too long with this, to be fair. Uh, so I'm definitely going to have to go down here anyway. So this is going to be my canteen area. And I reckon I'm going to need five down here. And then what I want to do is literally just have enough room for two tables. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Yeah. So we'll have a bench there, nice clear space for everyone to get into, and then a nice pathway down there. That's fine. So, bench, space, bench, table. Fantastic. Let's get this going, and up here. So that is, that is it for that bit. Fantastic. Okay, so holding cell, oh, look at that, we could have got a holding cell down there. Should we get a holding cell? Hmm, where should I put the holding cell? Well, it's going to need to be five by five, so maybe I could move that down a bit actually thinking about it. And then, what we could do, actually, is we could have a path coming down here. And then... So we get... Yeah, so staff will go into here. 
and then we'll keep the prisoners on this side, and then maybe on this side we'll have like a a yard, like that maybe. Yeah. Okay. So we got hold cell here, and we'll get rid of this, and we'll get rid of that. We can come back to that. It's fine. So now, this is going to be our entrance down here. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Could turn it into a staff room. Ooh. Yeah. Nice little 5x5 five five staff room. It's nice to have like, a staff room bigger than the average, I think. It's, uh, it's always good. Right, okay. So, we need to rub that off. And we'll do that. It's fine, just so we can keep the path one away. Because we don't have to stack everything together, it's quite nice to have a bit of grass in between the spaces. That'd be quite nice, actually. That's good. So I have no idea what sort of like kind of style of prison I want to do. I don't know if I want to be good or bad or I don't know. We'll just see how this goes. I think we'll do anything else. I mean, this one's just to try and get as much money as possible, I think, more than anything else. So, what have we got? So we've got the... Oh, there we go, bring that back. Okay, so... Kitchen, canteen, holding cell, yard, showers. Uh, showers. I could make it... I tell you what, if I do something like that... And then like that... But then, that's a waste there, isn't it? I might as well make that bigger. I, one thing I always have a problem with is... Sinks. I never have enough sinks to wash the damn plates. <laughs> I always ran up, run out of plates. Okay, so a nice little shower here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's alright, so I can fit five shower heads in. Which should be fine. I mean, I, I don't want to do any more than, like, maybe... Maybe 16? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this is going to be our cell blocks. Here. I think it's probably best. And that's going to be for a future time. In fact, I can move that off a bit like that. And just so the things look a bit more even there. Fantastic. Well, this is quite good for just a really quick build, actually. It's going really well. <laughs> okay. Um, so that'll be a holding cell for a bit later on. But for now, it should be alright. Oh, I could have the offices down here, couldn't I? And, um, no, they have to be one off anyway, don't they? So, was it six? Is it? Is that it? Four? Five? I think it's 4x4, four four, isn't it? Oh god. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, it's 4x4. Four four. It's alright. That's fine. I am good. So I need 5 of these. And this is just for future reference more than anything else. Oh, that's a bit crack, actually. In fact, I could make a pathway going out just in case I need it, but I don't think I'm going to. Now, one thing that I'm definitely going to need these days is a common room. Now, I hardly ever build a common room. In fact, it was probably the most, well, one of the most pointless rooms in the game for a long time. But not anymore. Not anymore. Because now they have AA meetings and drug meetings and stuff like that, just to make sure that they're not on drugs so much, which is always quite fancy. So in here we are going to have a couple of pool tables, and as well as we'll do like four phone booths, and then this could be chairs where we're all going to sit down and sort of like go, oh, alcoholics, and everything like that. You could lock them in a holding cell, um, sorry, in a solitary confinement, but you know, that's that's quite mean. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to lie. That is quite mean, even for me. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be our medical room. And uh, we'll have the infirmary behind it. Let's see what we can get. Oh, no. We'll do that. Ah, no. We'll go for that one. There we go. 
I doubt I'm going to see that many deaths, actually. In fact, what I could do is just go like that. I do want to try and save as much money as possible. I think more than anything else. So, like this, everything is now enclosed. And I have the offices, the staff room, medical, and everything I need for a basic detention centre, plus more. So I say, this is fair game. Now, the reason why I'm trying to rush is because I'm trying to get through this bit as quick as possible. Because it's, it's quite boring, really, this, this first day. It's, um, in fact, I'll start this going now. So here we go, here we go. Uh, staff door, staff door. I want to get these guys going. I do have to stick with just these eight workers. I can't buy any more because that's just a waste of money. And I do want to try and save as much money as possible just so that when I go into the next prison I will actually have something decent and I'll have loads of workers just spamming away at the entire thing. Okay. So we do have to get these going. Okay. And what else do we need? We also need this up. So I'm literally just going to do the basic stuff to start off with. Oh, get you going. There we go. Triple speed, mon frere. Let's get this done. Uh, I'm not sure if, where I'm going to put the entrance to this, actually. Well, I suppose they're going to be over this side more than anything else. I don't really want to put two in, because that means they're actually going to walk through it all the time. And that does suck. Okay. So, we'll pause it once they start actually finishing these. There goes the first one, surely. Surely. Please. Thank you very much. Oh, actually. Go on. And the other one. There we go. Okay. So, let's get these guys doing. So, we've got a choice now. We've got a choice of either brick or concrete. How awesome is that? I didn't think for that, actually. I should have done that <laughs> earlier on. Oh, well. It's fine. We'll stick with brick. Apparently. Could do a mix. Uh, that'll look weird. That will look weird. Okay, so we have this. And what we'll do is, because we're on double speed, we'll just pause it for a second and put some stuff in. So we need a holding cell. And storage room. Uh, there as well. Oh, and actually, we can put the, uh, the garbage. And the exports back whilst we're thinking about it, because otherwise I will forget, and then everything will go Pete Tong. So Holden Cell is going to need just a bench and a toilet. Fantastic. Storage room nearly needs nothing. And then what do we need from that? Well, staff room is something that we need to start off with as soon as possible anyway. So I will put that up as well. We've got the kitchen now. Let's get this up. Go on. Go on. There's a tree in the middle, guys. Tree. Tree. Anyone going to demolish? Oh, they are. Fantastic. What, are, what tool are you using to uh, demolish that tree? Looks like a... I don't know. I can't actually see it. That's a shame. Alright. So, we shall now go with the old kitchen. And we need a couple of sinks. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Fantastic. So I'm not going to keep it on uh, three times speed, because you do miss out on a lot of stuff. I'm going to try and keep it down to uh, a two speed. But maybe when the first prisoners actually arrive. So which way does this flick? Ah, uh, that way. Okay, so I want the fridges this side. Ah, uh, that's not good, is it? Why did I do that? Okay. And a cooker. We'll do two cookers, and then we can stick a bin down here. Cool. And then we will get another fridge as well, I think. Oh, actually, we can put a fridge down here, can't we? Let's turn that all the way around. There we go. Okay. We'll get the power and everything like that sorted in a minute. So once we've got the basic detention center up, we'll do that. But until then... Uh, we'll stick a normal... No, I can't stick a normal door down there, apparently. That's fine. So we've got some food coming in. Fantastic. Oh god, it's like 1 o'clock already. So 19 hours left, and hopefully we'll get a sturdy prison. It'd be lovely if we can get these cells up, actually, in that time, but I really doubt we will do. 
They're still dismantling that tree. This never used to be a thing. Used to be able to... They would have to destroy the tree first. Before it sort of like... All popped up and everything. You know what I mean? I hope you do. I don't know. Right. Uh, yard. Yard's quite easy. We can do that. And then we do have a door for the yard as well. Which is fantastic. Okay. Cool. Cool. It's looking good. It's looking good. Okay. So last thing we need now is a shower. Oh, we'll get the canteen going as well, actually. Uh, a shower. Now, something else that we can do is we can actually put a door down plus a drain, which will be fantastic, because we we couldn't do that before. We couldn't have two items items, blah, 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 items on one square. That's fine. We'll get that going. Right. Let's get this down. And let's go. Down. Okay. So, I do apologise if I sound different or anything like that. I am a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. This is the first time back in a long time. And uh, I've been wanting to come back for a while, actually, but it's uh, taken me a little while to get the uh, get the old courage back. I mean, even though I'm talking to myself, I mean, this is going out to a couple of hundred people, so it's kind of like, you could all hate this and like, all not like it, and then I'd cry. And then, I don't know slip into the abyss, start drinking, and my wife would leave me, take the kids. You know, that old thing. Okay, so we have the basic stuff. As soon as the shower is in, uh, so to complete this, we do need these. Fantastic. So shower, and there we go. Okay, so we have literally just done that. So next thing we need to do is we need to get some offices going plus the staff room. Because the staff room helps a hell of a lot. Always a plus. Right. Um, let's go this way. Oh, I can't put that in there. That's fine. Oh, I do need a... One down here. In fact, this staff room would probably be a good thing because you don't want them getting attacked in their own staff room. So I'll be putting a, a uh, an entrance here and here, and then we'll get a brick wall. Okay. All right, we'll get a a uh, what do you call it? Oh, a road gate. That's it. That's what I was going to call it. I knew, I knew. And we'll get it there. I like it there just because, like, when it opens up, it won't open up into the wall. <laughs> it kind of bugs me. But it's just it's just a quirk of the game. I doubt they're ever going to change that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. And got this, we'll get the staff room going. That one. Cool. And... Why you know? So I literally need a. There we go. A wide sofa and a drinks machine. Now, why have you not come out? Okay, there we go. I was wondering why it hasn't highlighted it. Should we put the drinks machine down there? I think we should. We should have plants. There should be like potted plants that we should be able to plant just everywhere. That would be cool. Alright, so everyone's busy, busy, busy. Right, so we got the first office coming up here now. Oh, in fact, that one requires an entrance, so we'll do that. And uh, we'll get these offices going. Maybe this one as well. Maybe. Please. Thank you. There we go. So we need to get research going as soon as possible, really. The sooner we get stuff done, the better. Okay, and we'll just keep it nice and symmetrical. There we go, fantastic. Oh, did I do that right? I did. That's fine. Right, okay, so as soon as they've done that, 
please. Oh, okay, they're doing that. That's weird that they walk all the way around, actually. Is that because of the staff entrance? Maybe the AI just sees it as a quicker route than having to go all the way around and then walk through all this dirt. Maybe it's quicker to walk through here, because through here you get 100% walk speed. But here you don't. It all slows down, look. It all just slowing down and everything. But anyway. So we've got our warden. We'll um, get him. Oh, good, he did decide to choose that one. Sometimes he decides, no. No, I don't want this one. I want to go into another one. I'm like, but I want you to have this one. No. No, 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 no. I get to choose my office. Well, fine, whatever. You know. Whatever floats your boat. So what's the first thing we need? We need finance. Let's go to finance. We can hire an accountant. Okay. And then help after that. Okay. So we've got both the offices going up now. Cool. So, what do we have left? We have to put some power in. Now, I think power would be nice down here, actually. Seems like a nice place to put it. Now, utilities, when I go over to this tab, it does lag a bit. I'm not going to lie, it's uh, partly my fault, because I have a crap PC. But it's also partly their fault as well, because they haven't optimised it. And they've, they've even said that they haven't optimised it, so it's not just me complaining. It's just a case of that they haven't got round to doing it yet. So, one thing I have learned from this game is to build in the walls, mon frere, build in the walls. So I go down here, because we are going to have to link these up um, directly, but the rest of it will be perfectly fine. Uh, see, now plumbing-wise, I do like to go the whole, like, stick it under the paths kind of route. And I am going to need it down here, because I will need for the cells I think more than anything else now I do know that I have no bed at the moment I mean I'm trying to hold off that I'm trying to put them in the holding cell you know they are $200 each so it can be uh, can be quite a pain but then really thinking about it do I really need all these offices I tell you what I do not know I do not know is that a is that actually classified as an office it is not I tell you what, I am going to remember that, just so that um, I don't forget, because I have a habit of doing that. Okay, office. So all of these are offices. Oh, for God's sake! Oh no, that's fine. Okay, cool. Wow. This is fantastic. So we have nine hours now until the uh, until the first set of prisoners arrive. And I'll tell you what. Do they build quicker? Because normally it was one hell of a struggle to try and get a prison up and running before the first set of prisoners came in. And then when the first set of prisoners came in, you just didn't have any guards. So they would just sit in delivery and everything like that. But, you know, I mean, like, it seems to be... That is a hell of a lot quicker. I mean, like, we're like 23 minutes into the video now, and they seem to be okay with this. It's fantastic. Oh, my God, they've already built this plumbing. Oh, man. Living the dream, I tell you. Living the dream. All right, let's just keep this inside and do that. There we go. Uh, anything else that needs some plumbing? Yes, that toilet does. Okay. So, I should be able to, then... Now, is that... Is that wired all the way in? So, if I do that and that, would that be enough, do you think? We shall see. No, that's... There we go. No. I want you to wire this bit. Please wire this bit. Oh, you did. <laughs> it's done. See, this is what I mean with a triple speed. It's just like... It's gone. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, right, let's try this again then. Uh, so we'll go with this. Uh, will that reach that light in there? I don't know. So, ah, I need power into this mother trucker. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. 
and power. Power. There is no power in that one. Ha, huh, okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, so the reason why I build into these walls is uh, because if you look, they actually power both sides of the walls, which is fantastic. But yeah, if I just stuck that there, then it wouldn't actually power this side of the room, just like it wouldn't power the other side. So yeah, this is uh, quite a neat little trick. I think it's fantastic. Sadly, it doesn't work with pipes because obviously pipes are all direct and everything. But there we go. So this is it. I think the first episode of me coming back to uh, to recording. I still have my same crappy PC, but <laughs> I am saving. I promise you, I am saving. Christmas is difficult. Well, I just overspent at Christmas. I haven't even finished all my Christmas presents yet. Oh god, I, I dread to think, dread to think. But hopefully, maybe I'll get some uh, some decent Christmas presents and uh, maybe a new mic or something like that. Because I know this is a little bit crappy. A little bit unprofessional and stuff like that. But anyway, so thank you very much for joining me today. And please remember to leave a like at the end of the video. And I'll see you in the next one, people. Goodbye. Goodbye.